Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. Okay, so I'm here with my Samsung Galaxy S7. As you all may be aware, the official Android 8.0 Oreo update is now rolling out for this device. Um, some the, some people have reported getting it already here in the UK. I've not got the update yet. Every time I go to search for it, software update, I always get this message saying the latest updates have already been installed already been installed as you can see there and I'm still on Android 7.0 as you can clearly see there at the top Android version 7.0 so I've not got the update yet um, this update is rolling out in stages like I said there's been reports of people getting the update already here in the UK other countries will probably have to be waiting weeks or months who knows how long they're going to have to wait for. But if you want the update right now, I'm going to take you through the process of how to update the S7 right now. This works for the Samsung Galaxy S7. Let's just check the model number real quick. The SMG930F model. So if you've got that model, you can go ahead and follow this video to update to Android 8.0. Okay, so first things first. Just head on to the two links in the description down below and download Odin. This is version, let's just check, version v3.13.1. This is the version you need to flash the 8.0 Oreo update. Any other version is not going to work. And you also need to download the official 8.0 firmware. So download both these two files, Odin and the official 8.0 firmware from the two links in the description down below. Once you've done that, just save them to your desktop, then go to your device and go into the settings. And go to about phone, <coughs> software info and build number where it says build number just keep tapping it until it says developer mode is enabled then go back and scroll down you should see developer options there select it and where it says OEM unlocking allow the bootloader to be unlocked make sure that's on then scroll down again to where it says USB debugging make sure that's on as well and now you can just power off the device and you can just leave the device like that for now then go back to the desktop and you're going to right click on the Odin file what you downloaded and select extract all you'll need an extracting program like um, WinRAR or is it ZZip or something like that in order to extract the files then select extract and then all the files will be extracted into a folder there's the folder okay so next just right click on the official 8.0 firmware and select extract all then hit extract and it's gonna create a folder g930f and all the extracted files which which are extracting will be extracted into that folder so i'm just going to move that folder over to the right and then just wait for all these extracted files to extract into a folder there. Let's just put the Odin folder beside it. Keep everything neat on the desktop there. Okay, so whilst everything's extracting, let's just put the device into download mode so to put the device into download mo mode press the volume down button here on the side and you're going to press the home button there 
and you're going to press the power button on the other side so you're going to press all three keep them held down at the same time so you're going to press volume down home button and then the third button is the power button so just keep all three held down at the same time until you see this warning message then press the volume up button to continue and then it should say downloading do not turn off target so just leave the device like that until everything finishes extracting Okay, so once it's finished extracting the folder will launch, will open up automatically. You can just go ahead and close it down because the folder's already here on the desktop. So just go ahead and um, open up Odin and then start Odin up. Hit OK. Now just connect your USB cable to your PC and then plug it into the phone just like this. Okay so once you've connected it up here where it says IDcom it should be blue. If yours is still grey that means you need to install the Samsung drivers. So to install the Samsung drivers just go ahead and download Samsung keys. Um, I'll leave a link to keys in the description or you can just type it into Google and download it from Google and then just install Samsung keys, connect your phone to it and it should then install the Samsung drivers onto your PC and once it's finished installing the Samsung drivers then you can reconnect your phone to Odin and it should then turn blue. If yours is already blue like mine you can go ahead and continue, you can go ahead and follow what I'm about to do now. So just go ahead and select BL which is the bootloader and you're just going to look for the G930F folder with the extracted official Android 8.0 firmware okay so desktop Okay, so there it is. Let's just shift that over a bit. Come on. Okay, so the first one we're going to flash is the BL, so here it is, BL, so we're just going to add it, then AP, there's AP, if it says not responding here at the top, don't worry about that, that's perfectly normal, just give it a few minutes. And then it should add the AP file. Okay, 
Okay, next. CP. So here it is, CP. And then CSC. There's two CSCs here. There's one which says home CSC. Don't use that one, use the one above it. The, this one here, CSC OXA. Okay, so it should all be looking just like this. And now you can just go ahead and hit start. On the device you'll see this little bar here moving up. That's just showing you the progress of the flashing. So it's flashing the system there. Okay, so we're almost done. Okay, when it's done it should say pass. And down here it should say succeeded one failed zero the device should then reboot and then it should start erasing installing system update erasing again Then it should reboot again. Here on Odin you can hit exit now. You can also unplug the device.
that in Android. Okay, so the first boot did take a while. Now it's installing the applications. Okay, so let's just go through the setup. Just connecting to the Wi Fi, guys. Okay, so let's just check the Android version. Okay, so here you have it, Android version 8.0. device status official so like I says this is the official Android 8.0 doing this will not void your warranty or anything like that so don't worry about it like I says it's the official firmware so you're good to go so yeah guys if this video helped you out thanks for watching it give it a thumbs up leave any comments in the comment section down below um, if you get stuck with anything also leave any comments letting me know that you're stuck and i'll try my best to help you the best i can thanks for watching it's your boy the android doctor see you in the next video i'm out deuces